and welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I got a question for you. Who's your factoring company? Do you need a factoring company? Listen, I've been with OTR Capital almost a year now, and it's been one of the most pleasant experiences I could say that I've had in the truck business. <laughs> but now listen, they got a good group guys and girls down there that are always willing to help you out answer any questions you got you're not sitting there on hold waiting on somebody you don't have to leave messages uh, they got an excellent app for factoring your loads um, if you need to do a broker check you can do it on the app or if uh, if you need to call in the office that phone is picked up on the second ring and they give you the answer that you need uh, but but listen give OTR a try check them out I'm gonna drop Jake's business card uh, call down there check them out see what you think talk to Jake ask him some questions uh, tell him squirrel from Southern Hell Transport sent you uh, you won't be disappointed because I'm not y'all have a big old weekend I hope y'all enjoy the video later Guys, yeah, so uh, we left out this morning about two o'clock. Uh, took a load down to uh, Lawrenceville, uh, Georgia, and uh, dropped it off this morning. It was a bunch of concrete forming stuff from a job site up close to my house. So uh, got that knocked out and uh, run over to just south of. Uh, Atlanta picked up this load here. Uh, I guess it's damn stuck up or something. I don't know. Anyway, so we brought it down here. And uh, this old boy over here on this forklift, man, cool as shit. He's like, uh, I'm gonna help you fold your tarps. I about had a heart attack. But uh, yeah, so we uh, we're getting unloaded here. We got about an hour and a half left on our uh, drive line. But anyway, we're going uh, from uh, Solera, Alabama over to Sukaluga, Suskaluga or something like that. Hell, I don't know. It's east of here. Pick up a load of uh, shingles going back to North Carolina up there to Midland. So anyway, stay tuned. Get the rest of this unloaded and get out of here later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we got that unloaded. Old boy was nice enough. We had just enough time to get over here to Sillacuga, Alabama. And uh, parked over here in the Walmart parking lot. And uh, we're about five minutes from our pickup in the morning. Had to stop in there and get some turkey to make me some sandwiches. And I got a hell of a damn sweet tooth. So I bought me a bag of them uh, Little Debbie Frosted Donuts. Whew. Damn. I used to eat them a lot when I was a child and I forgot about them. And uh, for some reason I've gotten back on them. I eat about a bag a week, sometimes two. <clears throat> you would think I'd be a little bit bigger than I am. But anyway, so... Uh, We'll catch you later this evening if I want to talk. If not, we'll catch you in the morning later. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, man, I slept like a rock last night. Well, you can't see that sunrise the way this camera is. It's bright. It's real bright. But, uh, yeah, we get ready to check the fluids and stuff in, old girl. And uh, we ain't like five minutes from where we're gonna pick up this morning. So 
um, <clears throat> get everything checked off and uh, I tried to call them this morning to check their uh, shipping hours and nobody answered so we're gonna mosey on over there about quarter to eight see if we can't get loaded up and get on back to North Carolina I right, see it all right boys so we got them shingles loaded up <laughs> And we got about a six and a half, seven mile ride. Back to uh and we won't be able to do this one until in the morning, Wednesday morning. Uh and hell man, I got here this morning at eight o'clock. <laughs> and there was already damn seven trucks deep and uh loaded trucks already leaving out. So anyway, we'll know for next time. All right, we gotta uh, hit the scale, the outbound scale, and give old girl a call. I'm gonna get some paperwork situated, and we're gonna get on the road. All right, so we uh, so we just scaled old girl on the scale here at 74,680. We only got 10 skids. I got three quarters of the tank of fuel in both tanks, and uh, <clears throat> my truck normally weighs close to about 32.3. Well, it was 32.3 whenever I rolled in here, so yeah, I can't call but like 47.7. So, old girl's pretty heavy. That's why I normally try not to my tank's over about half full, but I knew all these loads I was going to be grabbing this week going down and back up and stuff. I knew they was going to be kind of light. They, they say on the, uh, on the RC. But all right, man, so we're going to head back to North Carolina, boys. Uh, we'll see you. All right, folks. All right, we just got back to my town. How you like it? custom headliner I got in my old van uh, nah but we just uh, we just got back into Gold Hill here and uh, dropped the truck off where I park it and uh, heading to the house get a little dinner, get a little shut eye get that load dropped off in the morning as early as possible um, so wife booked uh, after we drop this load off in Midland wife booked a load um, picking up in Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, going to Harrisburg, PA. Supposed to be some AC units or something, but they got to be tarped. Ah, man, I hate tarp. But anyway, uh, and then we'll drop them off. Um, let's see, day two will be Thursday morning. And then we're going to drop over to um, Baltimore, Maryland and uh grab a load back to charlotte uh for friday delivery um so but anyway uh we'll uh we'll catch you guys in the morning later <coughs> all right so we got that load of shingles dropped off this morning and uh just a quick video got them dropped off got over to pick this up in charlotte it's uh two ac chillers Going up to PA, I guess they're going to be sitting on top of a building or something. Hopefully we'll get to see that. Uh, so anyway, if you notice this side, that's the control panel. Not supposed to be any straps on there. They're identical. They just flip them around. Well, it doesn't matter what you do. It blows out on this side. You know, the wind's sucking it out. Same thing on the other side. So we just pulled off up here in Harmony here off exit 65 Union Grove get us uh, something to eat and uh, I threw some straps over and just lightly put them down look who I got riding with me today <laughs> she gonna ride with me up to PA and then over to uh, Baltimore pick that load up and uh, be right there darling but anyway we're gonna get on the road we're gonna run out of time I do believe we'll see how far we get and we'll check in with you later see ya all right, folks, we made it to uh, Carlisle, PA. Uh, it's cold as shit. 
like 28 degrees. It's snow on the ground. Anyway, good thing I reserved a spot earlier today. All right, so I'm gonna go get the wife and we're gonna go in and get a shower and uh, all that good stuff. Get us something to eat. And, uh, oh, it's dark now. And we'll catch you guys in the morning. Load of mixed one by twos, one by threes, one by sixes up here out of Baltimore going to uh, Home Depot uh, in Charlotte. Got it loaded. Got here at 11. It's 3.30 now. Getting ready to head south, boys. All right, we'll see you on foot side. All right, we're doing a little walk around old girl. Give her a good old check over. So we got in from Baltimore last night. Uh, Got that. Uh, got home. Got some shut eye. It's load. Uh, I don't have to be delivered till 3:30. But we're gonna. I think it's about 12:30 now. But we're gonna mosey on down there. We got all this tarping to get off. And uh, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> hopefully they'll. Uh, They'll be able to get me unloaded before 3.30. So, uh, it's a lot of weight, girl, but you're picking her up mighty fine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to check her off here. We're going to get on the road. I got two bottles of liquor. My friend uh, Randy and Monica picked up for me. Got where I was going, squirrel. Uh, picked up for me when they's up in Tennessee, and I'm gonna bust one of them open when I get home. Uh, all right, so all that tires checked out. We'll check our lights here. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll get this weekend started here shortly. So we're here at the uh, Home Depot Distribution Center in Charlotte. <clears throat> Guys, on second shift, don't come in to unload till 3:30. So uh, hopefully they'll uh, get in here and get this handled. We get home. All right, folks, we got that load off there at the uh, Home Depot there in Charlotte, and uh, we are heading northbound on 85 back to Salisbury, North Carolina. Going to park for the weekend. Got a few little things I need to do. Uh, get me a big old liquor drink. Going to be the first thing I do. But y'all have a big old weekend. I'm glad y'all stay tuned and uh, hope you like the video. We'll, we'll try to do another one next week. Later.